think um, the efficacy speaks for itself. Um, uh, you know, all of these drugs are going to have a, a side effect profile, but the side effect profile that we we saw in the phase three programs and that has been confirmed in the ongoing open label extension uh, has shown that it's a safe and well tolerated drug. Most importantly, we have not seen any cases of, of valvulopathy or pulmonary hypertension in any patient at any time. Um, and then there are ov uh, obviously other side effects, the main ones being decreased appetite um, that can sometimes lead to weight loss. That's probably uh, the side effect that is uh, a little bit unique, but not a surprise given given the, the weight loss uh, properties that we knew about the drug when it was used as a weight loss drug. Uh, and then the list of side effects that are, are seen are, are pretty similar to a lot of the other uh, antiepileptic drugs. So somnolence, uh, URI symptoms, uh, and you know, these, are, these are, are similar uh, uh, to what have been, have been seen historically. Um, and I think that the, 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 the last thing that maybe we can go into a little bit more detail that, that clinicians should know is that not only was there dramatic efficacy in those, that 14 week double blind, but then all those patients were offered the option to roll over into the open label extension and we did a, a data cutoff uh, as of March of 2018 and looked at the 232 patients that had been in the study uh, and had received at least one dose of fenfluramine and then looked at uh, the durability of the seizure reduction and that has persisted uh, over time with, with uh, a median reduction in seizures in the 63-65% um, uh, percent, uh, range. So that's really nice because a lot, of, a lot of times we'll see these drugs be efficacious in the three-month treatment period and then once they get out into real-world use or open-label extension there's kind of a honeymoon effect that, that has unfortunately plagued many of, uh, of the drugs in the epilepsy space. But so far, uh, this, seems to be, uh, this seems to occur only in a minority of patients.